Hmm. So I was told if I remove these and then hook this up from immersive engineering with this, that it will act as power. Interesting. So wait a minute, if I hook more of these up, clearly it's working because these guys, these guys are still gaining power. So wait a minute, if I hook this up, if I hook multiple ones up, hold on, can I hook multiples to, no. Okay, so if I hook, if I hook up multiple ones of these, will it make a difference? Holy crap, I am gaining power. Voodoo beard, you son of a b <laughs> So I guess all of those are useless. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to another episode on the Hypermind Feed the Beast Infinity Evolve server. How you guys doing today? I'm doing really good. If you were paying attention to the beginning of the video, you will realize that I have put forth so much effort, so much effort for nothing. For absolutely nothing. And the thing that I thought was so great, the thing that I thought was amazing, was useless. Was practically useless. So, I got a comment. I've gotten this comment from Voodoo Beard before. But I kind of... I, I, nothing against Voodoo Beard. I love you to death, buddy. But I was like, okay, Immersive Engineering has their stuff. But I guess... It, I bet you it's really expensive. And I don't want to craft this stuff because... I've already got something that works, so why should I go and make this other thing? Okay, two different things that went into that sentence that was completely and utterly wrong. Number one, it's cheap as... A, it's cheap. It's stupid cheap, the things that I had to make. Okay, so first things first, I had to make the high voltage wire core coil, and then I had to make the high voltage wire connectors. Both of which, this is just aluminum steel and a stick to make four of them, and this... It's just hardened clay and, and aluminum to make four of them. What? What is this? Why didn't you say something, Voodoo Beard? And each one of these moves 4,096 RF a tick, which does translate into 4,096, uh, I think, EU a tick. I think. I think there's a conversion thing that goes into it, but it, but it doesn't really matter because all of this means that it's moving energy so much faster than what we were doing earlier. So, those are useless. Now, before anybody says anything, I made those before last episode was even released. Now, I will tell you this. I got some great comments from you guys in the comment section. I want to say thank you guys for all of your amazing comments. Some... I got to swallow. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, drink them a delicious drink. Uh, something caught in my throat. That was weird. But I got some great comments from you guys. Thank you guys for all of your amazing comments. Some of you said that the... Uh, the Reactor or at least the nuclear reactor was a good idea a lot of you said it was a very bad idea because apparently it's really radioactive and you could pretty much kill yourself and Which I would probably do if I ever do do that I'm just gonna do it for fun and not and probably keep it away from my area So yeah, that's the thing and a lot of you or some of you I can't remember names Oh, I forget names, but some of you mentioned the geotherms which I didn't even, I spaced about the geotherms. I don't know why I'm not looking at you guys, but I completely spaced about the geotherms. Um, but those things are super awesome and I completely forgot about, uh, I could just run lava power. I mean, that's cheap. <laughs> it's really cheap because I can get lava uh, within seconds, really. I, I already have it, you know, infinite source in the nether. So yeah, but since we have this, I feel really bad. I really do, because this is some cheaty, cheaty power. Okay, so my goal is to make make myself self-efficient so I don't have to run off these. But, uh, man, this is some cheaty power, man. It's not even a problem anymore. I'm completely, I'm running my mass fab at full steam. I'm, money, I'm running my replicator at full steam. Um, and uh, everything else, my, everything else is running at full steam and I'm gaining power. Ah. So off screen, I made a bunch of different things. I made a whole bunch of these advanced solar panels because they're relatively simple and uh, very and relatively cheap. I made three of the hybrid panels. Now I was wanting to make, I was trying. My entire goal was to make myself self-efficient, so I wouldn't have to use RF, and that's still my goal. I'm still going to be doing that, and I'm most likely going to be making a lot of geotherms for that because, and then probably what will happen is I'm going to make geotherms 
Hold on, I don't know why I'm not looking at you guys. I need to look at you guys more often. How are you guys doing today? Hold on, we, we didn't even finish the intro. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing really good. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day so far. I'm having a really good day. I just got home from work. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm sorry I forgot to say that, but now what I was talking about. But my plan is I'm probably going to make some geotherms. I'm going to try to use those to wing myself off of RF power. And then I'm probably going to make solar panels to wing myself off of geotherm power because I still feel like that's really cheaty. <laughs> I feel like that's really cheaty, but it's a thing. And I'm probably going to mess with a lot of other IC2 power just to play around with it. I still feel like nuclear reactors would be a lot of fun to do. I don't know. But today, but today, 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 I'm going to need to, after this one's done, actually, let's just do single run. And once this one finishes, I think that'll be it for that. So I want to go ahead and make the rest of the quantum armor. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it yet. I have, oh, I want to show you guys something really quickly, but I wanted to, I wanted to make these things auto craftable. So I went ahead and put every pattern for the advanced solar panel and the hybrid solar panel, I started doing the ultimate. Um, if you guys are, I'm lagging. <laughs> if you guys are unfamiliar, I do wanna give you guys a little bit of a sit rep on what these solar panels are capable of doing. And just in case if you're unfamiliar, the advanced solar panel does eight EU a tick. The hybrid solar panel does 64 EU a tick. The ultimate hybrid solar panel does a 512 R EU a tick. And then the quantum solar panel, I b do believe does four, 096 EU a tick, either that or 9,000, or it either does 4,096 EU a tick, or it does 8,000 something EU a tick, or 8,126. It's a number. I don't know. I don't remember. I'd have to go into my creative world to test it out. And there's no way to make the quantum generator. That is just infinite power for creative wise. If you wanted to make infinite power for EU. Um, but yeah, that's a thing. So what I ended up doing was I wanted to make, uh, I wanted to put all of the patterns that for, which by the way are right here. All of these are for my two solar panels for the advanced and the hybrid. This is all, this is what all goes into the advanced solar panel right here. And then this is what I was using for the hybrid one. So I, I, I ran out of storage in my crafting cube. So I had had to make another one um i oh yeah i put up a new the quarry i keep forgetting my sounds are up that freaks me out hold on one second let me go ahead and turn these back down they're not really really annoying but i had to make another crafting cube because mine ran out of space this thing ran out of space and i had nowhere else to put it so i just put it beside it um i know i could carry these down and i know i can make them bigger but i just feel like the three by three by three is the is the optimal size for these things i still plan on doing a tech room sooner or later to make these things bigger and more abundant but again that is for the future and we'll be getting to that later i'm not really worried about it i i do spur of the moment things like i just find something i really want to do and then i do it and then if i don't feel like doing something i won't do it <laughs> i don't know why it's just something i like doing um really quickly i want to try i want to look at something i want to make sure that we're not losing power are we? Yes, we are actually. Well, I, I would expect us to be losing power considering that uh, it's nighttime. Let me go ahead and sleep really quickly because I've got several things running right now. I've got a quarry going because I was running out of cobblestone that I was running that I was making into scrap. So I ran another quarry. Um, I'm processing all the ores coming in for the quarry. I'm running a full size uh, or our max power. Uh, what's it called? Uh, laser drill. And then I'm converting a lot of RF into EU. So I'm using up a ton of power. I want to, and, but at the moment with our solar panels, we're still making power, which by the way, we have 1.907 trillion RF in storage right now. We are not even a problem. If I cut off my solars, I could run off this power for a good month without any problems. I guarantee it. But yeah, that's been going for quite a while. So if I go back up here, I'm lazy. I don't feel like flying anymore. Bam. But with what we have now, I, I'm going to need to, let's just go ahead and bring this up. I, I really, I really, I really, 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 no, we're going to do industrial. I really want to make the gravity chest plate, but I know for a fact that I'm not going to be able to do it. And it bugs me and into my core knowing that I can't make the thing. But of course, we're going to be creating the rest of the quantum suit today. At least I'm going to try for it. We're going to need four, and then I know this one has two, so I'm going to need six iridium plates. So please be enough, bam. We have four. Dang it. <laughs> We're going to be short, and I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer. Um, this stuff usually does not take very long to make. Now that we're making enough power, I just have to wait for it. 
Um, so I might be able to do it. I might be able to do it today. So let's go ahead and shove this in here. We'll go ahead and since we have four, we're gonna make the chest plate. So let's go ahead and do. I should have everything to be honest. I do. So let's just go ahead and just make this thing. One, two, three, and boom! Quantum chest plate. Holy crap! Look at it. I love it. I do. I really, really do. It's been so long. It's been so long since I've seen this in 1.7. I know. I made the quantum suit in my Feed the Beast Unleashed series, which I did for a little bit, and that was the mix between my Resident Rise world and then the start of Hypermind. I, I did uh, a little bit of Unleashed, and I made the quantum armor in that series, but yeah, it's been a while since I've seen it. It looks really, really nice. I really love it. Of course, I'm going to have to charge it up, <laughs> which is going to take a while, but now that we have unlimited power, it's pretty easy to do, so I'm probably... I'm. I feel so bad using this because this power is kind of cheaty, but eh, it's it, it's it's a thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait. I'm going to try to get enough iridium gathered up so that we can make the leggings. And then I'm going to do that. And then I'll bring you guys back in when I got some things going. But yeah, before I head out, I wanted, I wanted to talk more about the hybrid slash ultimate slash gravity chest plate. I really hate that we're not going to be able to make it. And I might, I might talk to Lapis about it and see if she'll spawn me in one because I really badly want it. And I can easily make the components for it. This stuff isn't that expensive. It's the fact that it's impossible to get the craft going. At least I know it was for the advanced and nano chest plate. I don't know if it will be for the gravity chest plate, but I have a feeling that it will. I'll have to talk to Lapis about it and see what she thinks. But yeah, let me get some crafting done and I'll see you guys in a little bitty bit. Alright guys, welcome back. So, I'm done waiting. Finally, we're done waiting. So I've basically just been sitting here for the past 30 minutes to an hour waiting for my mass fat to, done, to get done. So it turns out, it, turn, it really turns out that um, three mass fabs work faster than just one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been, I've been, I, I was sitting here waiting and waiting and waiting, and then I realized, I mean, no, no, nobody, no rule said that I could only be running one mass fab at a time. So I was like, let's make more. So I made three mass fab. I well, I made two extra mass fabricators, two extra recyclers, and I'm having these guys go at maximum speed. So it actually sped up the process quite a bit. Um, we're making uh, still not a lot. I'm probably gonna have to make more of these things and to be honest We're actually able to run them without any problems. We're still gaining power uh, So that's the thing. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and make the rest of this Well, the last bit the last piece of this armor. I'm excited. I'm really really excited Bam bam grab my glowstone because it doesn't autofill that for some strange reason Bam actually before we do that. I think we need to make a uh, Laptron crystal um, bam, Laptron crystal, and then we'll do bam, bam, and then we'll fill in the glowstone because it refuses to do that. And then one, two, three, look at it. Quantum suit leggings, baby. We're kitted out. Look at us. We are the quantumest of the quantum on the server. We were the first, at least as far as I know, we're the first ones to get the quantum armor. We look so cool. We look really cool. I love the quantum armor. And of course, really quickly, let's just charge these bad boys up before we go out. I want to go to the deep dark like I do with all of my different armors and test this bad boy out, see how these things do. So while this thing's charging, I want to talk to you guys for a little bit. If you are unfamiliar or if you're not following Jeb on Twitter, for the love of God, if you don't know who if you don't know who Jeb is for the, for the love of God, where have you been? Jeb is the lead director. Well, I think he's like the lead creator. No, he's like the lead create the, the lead of the creative team for Mojang, who of course made Minecraft. And he released a tweet today that they have finally released Pre, well, they finally released the pre-release for 1.9, and I'm really excited, and they released a date. They said that next, well, hold on. I think they said the 25th of February is when they're releasing the final version of 1.9, which I'm really excited about. I'm really excited about. I don't know when we're going to be updating the uh, Hypermind server, but as soon as that gets done, and as soon as that releases, we are going to be starting back up vanilla. I told you guys that I was thinking about waiting for 1.9, and I thought that would be a really good idea to get a fresh start with 
1.9 instead of I knew it was coming, but I didn't I didn't know it was coming so soon. I I really thought it was good it, it would be like halfway into March before it came out. And I'm really excited. And at the same time, while we head over to the end or well, to the uh to the deep dark, I'm excited, but part of me is really not excited. And here's See, he's excited. Yeah, all right, let's do it. But he's excited. <laughs> okay, but part of me is really excited, but part of me is not really excited. And I'm really excited because 1.9, we've been waiting for this forever. I've been, I, we've got so many brand new changes to 1.9 that are gonna make the game probably a lot better. Um, in my opinion, it probably will. Actually, before we do start testing some stuff, I wanna head over, I wanna head back to my base and actually do some raw, some raw testing. And what I mean by that is, I don't know a lot about the quantum armor. I know, I have a feeling it has a jetpack in it. Um, I want to go ahead and just grab a chest, and I want to get rid of all of the stuff on me that could ta that could tamper with this with the uh, with the legitimacy of this testing. So let's go ahead. I want to take all this stuff off. I'm going to throw this stuff in here. Um, I'm going to leave my my belt of my flighting thing. I want to keep that stuff off. I don't think this is going to hurt anything. Neither are my health containers. That's fine. So everything that I am going to be receiving is going to be from the armor. So, holy crap. <laughs> I totally forgot. I totally forgot about that. Quantum armor gives you a pretty substantial speed boost when you're walking. So here's your walk speed. Well, when you're running. Here's your walk speed. There's your run speed. Check that out. I absolutely love that. I never, I totally forgot about that. And can I fly? So there's no creative flight. I should have looked this up, but hold on. Let me do this really quickly. Quantum armor controls. All right, guys, welcome back. So I found out the controls. They're actually rather simple. So what I ended up doing was I set the control, or wait a minute, I set the boost button to my left control, and then I have the, I think it's called, I forgot what the other one's called already. Dang it, I just looked at this. I am terrible at this game. Well, I'm terrible at commentating in general. But I set the mode switch to my 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 button five because that is on my mouse, and it's easy to get to. So the way that this works is it's, is let me go ahead and actually before we get done start doing this I want to take these guys off I want this to be a good test so I'm gonna take all of my uh, my rings off I'm gonna take my Batania stuff off I'm gonna take my magic flight thing off um, I guess I could keep those all of this is charged all the way up quick cool so th with this test um, the the way that you enable the jetpack is that you need to jump and then hit your mode switch and that enable no, that's enabling hover mode. Okay, to enable the jetpack, it's left control and then mode switch, and that enables your jetpack. So right off the bat, it's a little underwhelming in the whole flying department, but it's a thing. So remember, while I'm showing this stuff off, I do want to emphasize very stressfully that this is an older mod. This mod was before Draconic Evolution. This mod was before all of the overpowered mods that came in the i think the end of 1.6 and the beginning of 1.7 so remember all that so this stuff is meant to be useful but not stupidly amazing <laughs> so that's that's the that's the sit wrap before we get into that so the jetpack works it looks cool and so let's actually i want to go head over to the deep dark i want to turn all this stuff off let me just turn that off no no okay and then we'll turn the hover mode off. Okay, so I'm still getting used to the controls. It's so weird. The controls are really weird. I see two controls in general are, are... When am I supposed to remember? Why do you guys always do that when I come... Okay. That's... I think they're harboring something, guys. <laughs> I, have, I, 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 I'm not joking. I feel, I feel like they know they, they are sentient because those things are weird. So if we go down here, just doing a little bit of testing. I remember this armor being really powerful because I don't think I take damage as long as I have energy. And I would be right. And that is awesome. <laughs> no, I don't want to enable my hover mode. Oh God. See. Right now, I am taking the utmost amount of damage, and I am just taking it like a boss, which is really, really awesome. Okay, so that's really that's one upside to this armor. Even though its flight is a little dated, but it's still great in protection. Um, let's see. Do we have any Endermen around here? That's one of the ultimate tests. The Endermen's are ultimate tests. 
Well, actually, creepers are ultimate test, and then endermen's are right underneath that. Actually, let's go grab this witch. Poison me, buddy. I want to see if we take poison damage. Move. There's so many around here. Poison me. Can I not be poisoned is the question. I don't think I can be poisoned. Thank you. Clear the field. This is just hilarious. I'm sorry. Even though this is really loud, it's just hilarious how, how much these mobs are trying to get to me, but they can't. So I don't think I can take poison damage, which is really cool. Oh, I'm trapped. See, this is why we need the uh, jetpack. <laughs> but... I don't know what else to say about this armor. The jetpack is a little dated, like I said, but the armor rating itself, I'm invincible as long as I have energy, which it does look like the energy kind of runs out pretty quickly. So let's head back to the base, and I want to finish up the conversation that I was having with you guys earlier. So as I was mentioning about 1.9 being released and that we're going to start up the series, I don't know when the... I don't, hold on, can I turn you off? Thank you. I keep forgetting in the buttons, man. And I'm lagging, and um, I need to be up there. Dang it. Magicness. So, but yeah, I don't know where we're gonna be updating the server. It's still on the fly. Um, I'm gonna have to see, we're probably gonna, I don't know. I know the final release date is the 25th. So, I'm guessing we're probably gonna wait a little bit and then see and make sure there's no bugs and, and stuff and, and then we'll probably update right after that. So one other thing I wanna test with this armor. Now I know with the nano, it wasn't able to be enchanted. Even though it said it was able to be enchanted, it wouldn't. So let me do two different tests. Let me just throw it in here and look. So no, you can't do it that way. So let me go grab a book. And one other thing, I was talking about how I was extremely excited for it to be released, and I was really kind of iffy on it being released. Now I love the I love the stuff that they're adding. I personally don't mind the whole, even though they're they're nerfing a lot of stuff and they're well, they're balancing stuff and they're making the combat system a little bit more challenging, so it's not super easy to PvP. Makes a it puts a little bit more skill into it. I like that. Um, but the one thing I am sad about, and this is what I've read, I don't know how true it is, but I haven't seen Jeb post it at all. Yeah, you can't do it with the uh, enchanting books either. That really stinks. I really, 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 sh I really, really wish you could enchant this stuff, but unfortunately you cannot, which really, really sucks, because I wanted to put... I need to put Soulbound on this stuff. I die too often, and I really want to use this stuff against the Chaos Dragon, but I'm really afraid of dying and then losing it. Uh, it's a thing. Maybe I will go and maybe I will test it out next episode against the Chaos Dragon. Tell me in the down there if you guys think that's a good idea or a bad idea to test this stuff on a Chaos Dragon. But what I was saying was, I, I don't know if it's been confirmed by Jeb or not, but I'm pretty sure that 1.9 is the last, rel the last release for Minecraft for quite a while. And I don't know exact time frames. I don't know when they're going to be updating it again. But part of me is really sad by that because now the game of Minecraft is done. It's a release. They're going to release it. This is a final update and it's just done. So I don't know. I, I've been with Minecraft for so long. It's just I've always had something. I've always been looking forward to the next release. This is the last one. So I'm kind of sad about that, but I'm really happy for 1.9. I hope you guys were as well. Like I said, we're going to be starting up vanilla whenever we update the server. Again, I can't give time frames because I don't know. We're going to be starting with vanilla again. We are going to be starting fresh. So be looking forward to that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, guys. I had a lot of fun today. Don't forget, if you hated this video... You know where to put it, but if you didn't enjoy, do not forget to hit that like button, guys. You guys have been doing amazing all my videos lately, and I just want to say thank you, guys. For all of your amazing support, I forget to breathe in the outro. <laughs> Don't forget to post any questions, comments, or smart marks in the comment section down there. I love hearing from you guys. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. And hope all of you have a great and wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you next time, guys.